Howdy, neighbors. I'm Jack Stewart with Nevada County Concert Band. When I was playing what I laughingly play, call golf, I met Frank Aquino, who is co-producer of this video. Frank is a fine gentleman who was a longtime professional musician. He was a talent scout for the Disney Studios, and he also was a big band leader or music director. I play the licorice stick, which I had packed away for 20 years in two different periods of time, including World War II. When we moved to Lake Wildwood a while ago and I discovered that there was a band that I might be able to play in, I was really ecstatic because it is a great deal of pleasure to be with a fine group of fellows who donate their times and talents for the benefit of the community. Uh, you just saw a video of last year's band concert here at beautiful Commodore Park. We're coming back again this year, bigger and better than ever, and we will be in concert at starting at 3 p.m. on Labor Day weekend, Sunday, September the 2nd. You and your guests are all invited to be here with us. Hot dogs, hamburgers, and beverages will be on sale. Nevada County Concert Band has its antecedents going back to the days of the Cornish miners, when the miners, after a hard day's work in the mine, would relax and refresh themselves by blowing a few hot licks on uh, whatever band instruments they may have had available. I'm told the band was also at the railroad station in 1898 when they saw and played the boys off to war against Spain on the island of Cuba. Our musical director and conductor is Eugenio, or Jean Gadini. He is from the Reno area and has brought us uh, good expertise, and we are very happy to have him uh, lead both the band and the Sierra Community Orchestra and the Sierra Youth Orchestra. The band consists of 40 to 45 boys and girls from ages 15 to 74. We all donate our talents and the band concerts are free to the public. We do have to raise money and we do every year have a couple of fundraisers. One is called the Creme de la Creme, which is a talent show, and another one is called the May Bach Fest, which is held in May and is a very fine event and helps us raise the money we need. We also, to put it simply, beg from the public. We request donations and we've been quite lucky in getting people to help us with contributions and uh, memberships. Today we are going to visit a rehearsal of the Nevada County Concert Band which we had at the Deer Creek Elementary School in Nevada City. We've pre-taped some numbers which we hope you will enjoy. Then we will return to Commodore Park and meet six other Wildwooders who, as I do, enjoy playing in the band. As soon as the Nevada County Concert Band is set up and ready to go, we are going to play numbers with an international flavor. The first is from Mexico, and it is Marcha Zacatecas. Zacatecas is a city in the state of Zacatecas in Mexico where in 1914 Pancho Villa celebrated a considerable victory. In the march you'll hear the exhilaration and the joy of victory and in the trio a somber note, perhaps an elegy for those who gave their lives. Let's give a listen.
home country, the band will play the original Dixieland Concerto, arranged by John Warrington. You may recognize the Ball and the Jack and the Jasmine Blues and the original Dixie One Step. The number that the band will play features a solo group of six musicians, four of whom are from Lake Wildwood. Let's go and hear the Dixieland Concerto. rehearsal number combines the talents of an Italian composer, Giacomo Puccini, and the joy of the bohemian life of young artists in Paris. The tune is La Boheme, and after we hear this tune, we will reappear at beautiful Commodore Park in Lake Wildwood, where we will meet the other six members of Lake Wildwood who play in this wonderful Nevada County Concert Band.
Hello again. Lake Wildwood is well represented in Nevada County Concert Band. Uh, Don Brandt was the first one to join the band, and he disappeared for a while, and when I joined, I was the only uh, Lake Wildwooder, <clears throat> but now we have seven members, and I would like to take this opportunity to uh, introduce these wonderful guys to you. The first one is my friend Peter Serby, who also plays clarinet. Pete? Hi. Uh, people have asked us why we happen to join this band and this organization. I joined it because I enjoy making music and I hope uh, entertaining others. Uh, it's been a good experience. I also, uh, as you can see, play clarinet. We are short of clarinet players, so if any of you out there have played clarinet in the past, uh, we'd like you to come join our band. It's a lot of fun. I hadn't played for some 35 years and I'm starting to fill the holes again, so come on out. It's a lot of fun, Jack. Well, thank you, Peter. Next, I would like to introduce Bill Brown, who lives on Lake Wildwood Drive and plays in our trumpet section. Bill? Well, I'd like to point out that uh, the, our participation in the um, uh, Nevada County Concert Band is not too demanding on us, because we have plenty of time for golf and other activities here at Lake Wildwood. Thank you, Bill. I'd like to introduce another trumpet player who is uh, an individual that I have a lot of respect for. He's a former Navy blimp pilot and a former golf teacher, and he lives on Chaparral Drive. Name, Ray Engel. Thank you very much, Jack. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have a few words with you folks. Uh, we really do enjoy this opportunity to play with the Nevada County Concert Band. And it's only because of your support. The support that you folks give the Sierra Musical Arts Association and our band and music in the mountains and other musical activities makes all this possible. And without you, it wouldn't be. So keep up the good work, will you? Thank you, Ray. Now I'd like to introduce one of the very important members of the band. He's in the percussion or drum section. His name is Lou Lavi. He lives on Waxwing Court. After meeting Lou, I found that we have something in common. Many years ago, we had a work for the same corporation and had a common enemy there. <laughs> and uh, it is with pleasure that I introduce Lou Lavi. Thank you. <laughs> I find, <coughs> as well as self-satisfaction, the interfacing with different people throughout Nevada County playing in the band. We all hope that this will change the misconception that we have encountered occasionally of the people who live behind the fence and the gates at Lake Wildwood. I know that this interfacing, as do our swim teams, our golf teams, our theaters, and art group, just helps to dispel that. Thank you. From Chaparral Circle, we have Ed Stember, who plays tenor saxophone in the band. Members of our musical society come from varied backgrounds, business, government, education. Some are just beginning their careers, others have retired. It makes it very interesting to meet and make fine long-term relationships in the band. Also of Chaparral Circle, on the baritone saxophone, we have Don Brandt. Thanks, Jack. Ed, I agree that uh, while we all came from varied backgrounds, the one constant thing that, uh, that I found to be true amongst us was that we started our music education while we were still in elementary school. Later on, during those middle years, while we dropped out to raise our families uh, uh, and looked forward to uh, playing again, uh, we were surprised when we did start playing to learn that those things that we had learned early on were retained so well. We all look forward to performing for you on Sunday, September the 2nd, starting at 3 p.m., right here in beautiful Commodore Park. You might want to carpool so that we can save on parking places. I'm Jack Stewart, signing off for... Sierra Musical Arts Association and Nevada County Concert Band. 
and Group 3 production. facilities for this cable cast were furnished by Group 3 Productions and TCI Cable Vision of California.